Hi, everyone. Let's go through this week, the week of April 27th. Uh, so first thing, we're moving on from the scramble for Africa and moving into talking about the modern Middle East. But before we do that, um, we've got to go back a couple hundred years and kind of set the base. And that's going to start with the spread of Islam after Muhammad's death. We'll talk about the Ottoman Empire, World War I, how the Ottoman Empire fell apart, getting into um, all kinds of modern stuff in the Middle East. But we'll get into that in a minute. Um, day by day, here's what we're doing. Um, everything is on a Google Slides this week, similar to the last couple of weeks. It's all posted today. You can do it all in one day if you want. You can do it throughout um, the five days of this week. That's okay, too. Monday, um, you will go to this Google Slides right here. And you will go through slides one through nine. And then on slide nine, you'll see that you'll be directed to go to Google Classroom and fill out the 427 exit ticket on Google Classroom. That is actually being graded and it's being graded for accuracy, but uh, fret not because you can use the slides and the videos that you've looked through on uh, Monday or whenever you decide to do this um, to answer the question. So it's basically an open note um, exit ticket. Wednesday. You'll be directed on the Google Slides to watch a video and then do a Nearpod. I don't think we've done one yet um, this quarter, but you'll do this Nearpod. Your participation is being taken for a grade, so complete it. Fill out the quiz questions. It's being taken for a participation grade. That's Wednesday. And then on Friday, all we have on Friday is a quizzes. The code is there on Classroom, as is the link. You do need to get at least an 80% on classroom and then on classroom you will turn it in um, as a screenshot of your 80 percent score or better um, as a post and, and you'll see on classroom that it will say turn in quizzes score here so it should be pretty easy to figure out um, a couple different things with this week um, first of all um, google meets will be on wednesday and friday um, Wednesday's Google Meet will be 12.05 to 12.30 p.m. Uh, Friday's Google Meet will be 1.35 to 2 o'clock p.m. The reason those times are a little odd um, at the start is that I'm actually going to be doing live lessons on Wednesday and Friday. What a live lesson is, because this week's material is pretty dense. It's, it's stuff that you definitely, most likely, haven't learned before in school. I will walk you through it um, as if I was teaching the class. So if you're interested in that from on Wednesday from 11 to 11.30 a.m. And then on Friday from 1 to 1.30 p.m., um, I'll actually be teaching uh, Monday through Wednesday's lessons. So the slides in the Nearpod as I would be doing so in a classroom just online. Um, late assignments. Um, I addressed this a lot last week. If you have a late assignment in PowerSchool, you can turn it in late with no penalty. That means um, if you have a 0 out of 10 or whatever out of 10 and you haven't done the assignment yet, if you turn it in to me, um, you can receive a 10 out of 10, um, assuming you do it well um, enough to achieve that score. Um, just please, if you do turn in a late assignment, shoot me an email, let me know. That way I can get your grade updated as soon as possible. Um, next thing, um, I haven't posted a quote of the week in my classroom or on um, Google Classroom in a while, but we'll, we'll start with that. Start with something new, why not? Um, hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. Uh, I think we can all relate to that um, to an extent at the moment right now. So again, what's being graded this week? The 427 exit ticket, which is on classroom right here. That is an accuracy grade, but it's open note. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem for us. The Nearpod is being taken for participation, so please put your actual name on there. And then the quiz is, you need to screenshot an 80% score or above, and then submit it to a separate Google Classroom post, which I'll post a little bit later on. Also, you'll see a separate post, which um, is called the Masked Teacher, like the Masked Singer TV show that I don't think I've ever watched. What it is, it's a couple different video clips of some teachers uh, singing clips of songs, and you follow a link to a Google form, and you guess who they are. Um, no, you don't get to hear me sing on there. I didn't make the final cut. 
So that's all I got. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's have a great week.